Today we are going to be making a simple melty metal heart animation using one empty and one torus in Blender. In Blender we're going to be using the Cycles Render Engine and our resolution is 1920 by 1080 and the length of the animation is going to be 300. We're going to start by having a blank scene with a camera that is on the center of the x-axis and it can be anywhere on the Y and the Z. And then we're going to add a empty plane axis to start, hit G and then move it up on the Z axis just so it's centered and scale it down a little bit. This is going to be what we're mirroring everything over. Now we're going to add a torus with the major radius set at two and the minor radius set at 0.5. Right click shade smooth. We're going to add a subdivision surface. Depending on how good your computer is, you can add more or less subdivisions. I'm going to add five. Once I add that, I'm going to hit S to scale the torus down. Double tap R to free rotate. And just sort of have it facing this direction and to the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a second empty. We're going to scale this empty down and move it towards the center of this torus. Hit seven so we can see it and then hit period on the numbs pad and it'll go towards the center. Make sure it's in the center of your torus. That's looking good. Once we have that, we're gonna add a simple deform and we're gonna set it on the second empty, on the Z, and then we're gonna put 360 just to start. And then we're gonna duplicate this th uh, three more times. One, two, three. Now that we have four of them, we're gonna leave the first one on Z second one Y, third one X, and last one on Z. You can see this is looking kind of cool, but it's a uh, more orb because everything's set on 360. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through and we're just gonna mess with the, uh, the angle until we get something looking sort of more abstract and interesting. And then once you have that, you can hit G to move it around. And if you move it around, it'll mess with it even more because it's mo keeping it locked on the second empty. I'm liking what that's looking like. So you can just uh, keyframe this and get a sort of very interesting animation, but what we're gonna do is with this first empty that we put in there, we're going to add a mirror on this torus. And we're gonna set the mirror to the first empty. And now as you see, we have that and it's looking very cool. We're gonna take the camera and we're just gonna move it back on the Y and down on the Z until we get it centered have everything looking nice. So we're gonna hit A to select everything. We're on frame one. We're gonna hit I and do location, rotation, scale, and custom properties. That'll set a keyframe for everything. We're gonna go all the way to the end and then over one more, so 301. And then while having everything selected again by hitting A, hit I and add keyframes again. That way the beginning and the end are gonna be exactly the same and it can loop. And we have it set at 300. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to 75 which is a quarter of the way there we're going to take this second empty that we added hit g to move it and we're just going to move this second empty around a little bit double tap r to rotate it freely and then hold down shift so we can do it slowly and let's just get something looking interesting and now that we did that we're going to hit i location rotation scale custom properties now let's go to the halfway mark, which is 150. Let's click on the actual torus, hit G. And let's just move this out a little bit and maybe up a little bit. I for keyframe, keyframe again. Then let's go to 225. Click on the empty. We're just gonna, oops. And we're just going to double tap R and make sure you hold down shift because you saw right there I did it and it went way too fast. So we're just going to rotate this again and then hit G. We're going to hold down shift while we're doing this as well and then just move it. Maybe to around here. Hit I. Start the keyframe. And now if we hit play, or maybe not hit play, we might just have to click and drag through because of the subdivision surface. You can see that this is a very interesting sort of abstract, melty, chrome type sort of animation. And that's how you do it. Um, if you want to do some very simple 
materials, go to the material tab, add a new material, just set the roughness to like 0.15, turn the metallic all the way up. We're gonna go to the world. We're gonna change the background color to black. Then over here, we're just gonna add some very simple lights, make a point light. We're just gonna move it like over and to the right. Let's set it at like 100 to start. Over here, we're gonna switch to viewport shading so we can see. You can see that's way too dark, so let's make it a thousand. Cool, now that we have that, we're just gonna hit Alt D, G, and X. So we're just moving on the X axis and we're gonna put one on this side. And then let's just add a area point. Let's size it up on five times. Hit three on the numbers pad so we can see from the side. We're just gonna move this in front. Sort of maybe above and down a little bit and have that just pointing towards the center. And let's just crank this one up to a thousand real quick and see what that looks like. Maybe a thousand's too much on this one. Let's do like 500. Perfect. Now if you see when we go through, this is just a very sort of basic shader with lights. You can go through and do a lot more with the shading. If you do glass, it's very interesting. But I just wanted to be able to pass this very quick, very uh, good tutorial on to you guys where you can use this sort of concept on really any mesh. The torus is just a very simple one to do because you can divide it by a lot without uh, destroying it and without making it super heavy on your machine. So uh, I hope you learned something and I hope you can make a really cool animation with this. Uh, if you like this, please like it, please subscribe and maybe share with someone else that uses Blender and you know would enjoy it. Uh, thank you very much. Go make some art.